when the first time they told me that my son had cancer, oh, I feel that my, all my body went down. And I was crying and crying and crying the whole time. I didn't, I, I couldn't assimilate. At that moment, it was so hard for me as a mom. Felt it like I was gonna, I was gonna die. A mí se me vino el mundo encima porque nunca esperaba una noticia tan grave que es fatal para cualquier familia y en, re, en realidad me sentí muy triste, me sentí vacío. Es algo que, que no se espera nadie. Receiving a cancer diagnosis for a family is shattering. Um, no parent wants to hear that the person they care most about is sick in a way that they have no control over. For the Adonias family, they've endured a lot. Danny was diagnosed with cancer in 2017 and then relapsed in February of 2021. For them, uh, and really for all of our camp families, this is, this is really the worst fear realized uh, that once again, um, they have to navigate the realities of, of managing their child's cancer diagnosis. Ha sido un proceso grande para Daniel de como de cinco años y pues hoy en día al verlo pues aquí disfrutando de este lugar que me siento muy contento porque el tiempo ha pasado pero he visto cómo mi hijo ha progresado mucho. Mi hijo no podía hacer cosas que ahora él puede hacer. Hoy veo que disfruta más el campamento, eh, corre, juega, hace fishing y ahora que me dio, me sentí tan contenta al verlo subir la torre. Y todo lo que, la ayuda que él ha recibido eh, ha sido muy grande porque en realidad pues nosotros pues somos limitados, hay cosas que no podemos hacer, pero gracias al apoyo de muchas personas que aportan al campamento, es que pueden hacerse realidad muchos sueños como el de mi hijo. The opportunity to come to camp uh, stress-free, cost-free, and that they can find peace in a time of their life that is anything but peaceful are central to kind of the growth and healing of a family as a unit, but as individuals too. Um, those, are the, those are the moments that don't unfortunately happen in a hospital, but they happen at camp. If you've never been to camp before, here's how I could describe it. There is fishing, archery, and you could even climb the, you could even climb the tower. After three years of, um, of the pandemic and then coming back, it feels, uh, it feels um, good. Yeah, I feel happy. We're honored and committed uh, every day to serving kids just like Daniel and Esme and, and families like the Adonia's family, um, that we might always be able to provide that, that respite and that break and that deep breath um, because they deserve it.